Hey everybody, I'm Kyle Larson, and you're watching the ACS. Welcome to the Bristol Night Race for the race 13 of the ACS 99. We are getting down to it here, folks. The nitty and gritty last two races of this season. We have 40 cars lined up and ready to go in this field this evening on a Wednesday night. Should be a nice, fun, short track night here in Bristol, Tennessee. Now we have Jeff Gordon's miraculous comeback to talk about here. The first seven races, an average finish of 17.3, one win, two top fives, and three top tens, and he was 13th in points. Since Talladega, Martinsville, Martinsville through Watkins Glen, he has climbed to third in points, and he is right on the heels of Dale Jarrett and Mark Martin, an average finish of 3.0. Incredible for Jeff Gordon. And the man he's chasing, Mark Martin, and last week's winner, Dale Earnhardt Sr., the winner at Watkins Glen. And then the rookie, looking for his first win, Tony Stewart. He was a championship contender at the beginning of the season, but he's fallen off since then, but he's still looking for that win. Now for, for the command. Drivers, start your engines. The cars get the command and fire up and roll off, and we'll check out your starting lineup. Tony Stewart and Rusty Wallace on row one, and Kenny Wallace starting third tonight next to Jeff Gordon. Ward Bolton and Mike Skinner in row three. Mark Martin and Ernie Irvin in row four. Terry Labonte and Sterling Marlin sit in row five. And in row six, it's Kenny Irwin and Robert Presley. Kenny Schrader and Michael Waltrip in row seven. Jeff Bodine and Chad Little in row eight. Bobby Labonte and Daryl Waltrip in row nine. Matt Kenseth and Derek Cope line up in row 10. And Bill Elliott and Jimmy Spencer in row 11. There's Dale Jarrett and Dale Sr. in row 12, two championship contenders starting deep in the field tonight. Wally Dahlenbeck and Kevin LePage in row 13. John Andretti and Dale Earnhardt Jr. in row 14. You got Elliot Sadler and Ted Musgrave in 15. And in row 16, Kyle Petty and Steve Park. Then Ricky Rudd and Bobby Hamilton. Jeff Burton and Jeremy Mayfield in row 18. Johnny Benson and Jerry Nadu in row 19. And running up in the last row is Joni Michek and Buckshot Jones. Now we are ready to go racing under the lights. The green flag is in the air. We are racing in Bristol. Oh, the pole sitter, Tony Stewart, doesn't get a good jump into turn one. Rusty Walls and Jeff Gordon rocking around the high side. Three wide for third place. And Mike Skinner goes up into the wall. That did not work out well. They're still beating, banging halfway. And around goes Terry Labonte and more. Kenny Irwin spins out going into one. He's going to collect Michael Walsh and Jeff Bodine. Holy cow, what a mess of cars here on lap two. And we are under red flag conditions immediately. A big wreck coming off of turn four, heading on. It goes all the way through turn two. They're still beating and banging. He's got Mike Skinner up into the wall. Sterling Marlin can't get off of him as they go three wide. And Kenny Irwin just goes around trying to avoid Robert Presley and ends up spinning himself out. Chad Little, oh, what a shame. What a shame for Chad Little. There it is. Sterling Marlin and Mike Skinner cannot get off each other. That just starts a chain reaction. All the way through the field. Jeff Bodine and Michael Walter think they're in the clear. Nope. With that banking, Kenny Irwin just climbed in right up into them. And now cleanup is underway here in Bristol. Robert Presley, such a shame. Had a great starting position. Just tried to avoid that wreck and spun out. Ended up getting spun out by Kenny Irwin who got into the back of him. Michael Wallachip and Jeff Bodine had nowhere to go. Kenny Irwin and Sterling Marlin had a great card tonight. Mike Skinner gets forced three wide on lap one. And the turn three does not end well for him. He goes up into the wall, and we are getting back rolling here as the red flag has been lifted. And pole sitter Tony Stewart has a flat tire due to that three-wide contact. But it's time to get back racing here in Bristol. Rusty Wallace and Jeff Gordon lead him down to the line, and green flag is back in the air. The single file restarts here in 1999. Lead him in the turn one and two. There's Ward Borton getting up into the fourth position there, passing Kenny Wallace. Jeff Gordon gets under Rusty Wallace, moves up the track, and Jeff Gordon will take the lead here on lap four at Bristol. Dale Earnhardt and Dale Jarrett trying to climb through the pack here. There's Jeremy Mayfield who started deep in the field, and Ernie Irvin and Rusty Wallace now battle for the second position. What a run by Ernie Irvin here tonight in Bristol, Tennessee. Winner at Riverhead earlier this year. Now here comes Ward Burton moving his way through the field. Rusty gets into the back of Ernie. Ernie's going to lose four positions from second to sixth. Now Ward Burton climbs up to the second position. He's trying to hunt down Jeff Gordon. Ward has been secretly quiet this season, trying to get that big win to take that team to new heights here. Bill Davis racing. And he's going to get back up into the wall. He gets into the back of Jeff Gordon and climbs the banking and hits the wall of a turn two. 
Looks like a driver error on Ward Burton's part. Meanwhile, you got Dale Earnhardt Sr. all over the back bumper of Jarrett, and he spins him out! Dale Jarrett second in the points, and he goes around. What was Dale Sr. doing? Those two have been battling for position all night long, and I think Dale Sr. just got sick of it. Oh, man. To quote the legend, I didn't try to spin him. I just meant to rattle his cage. It's a quote from Dale Sr. from 1999. It's a famous race. Y'all should check that out. The Bristol Night Race in 1999. Labonte versus Earnhardt. And Dale Jarrett goes around. His cage is rattled, all right. Up into the wall, that is. Ward Burton's ride comes to an end tonight. There, he just hits the wall. This has such a great run, didn't lift, and it ends up hitting the wall hard. And Ward Burton's going to pay the price here tonight as he tries to get to the back bumper of Jeff Gordon. Possibly going for the win way too early in this race. We'll find out. Green flag is back in the air. Gordon takes him down slowly, and around goes Kenseth. Oh, my goodness. Matt Kenseth looks like the whole field just bottlenecked after Gordon brings him to the line very slow just, hit, just takes off and there goes Matt Kenseth around on the nose of Dale Earnhardt Sr. who else? Yeah Jeff Gordon definitely brought the field up very slowly Matt Kenseth's team is living on the radio trying to get NASCAR to hold Jeff Gordon one lap for that move I think NASCAR is just going to give Jeff a warning on that one the race will move on Jeff Gordon controversial restart there we're gonna try it again green flag is back in the air with Ken Schrader this time in second place nice clean restart that time by Gordon here comes Ken Schrader getting his nose under Jeff Gordon for the race lead late in the race Schrader's gonna make it happen but he gets loose and opens the door for Gordon once again four laps to go in Bristol and now Mark Barton's gonna try and take that second position the points leader Meanwhile, we got Rusty Wallace and Dale Earnhardt battling for a position. They force each other to make contact in three and four. Wallace is going to get him back, tries to spin him out, ends up wrecking him. Oh my goodness, Rusty Wallace takes himself out along with three others. Trying to take out Dale Earnhardt in turn one. This is Calamity Corner tonight. How many wrecks have we seen in turn one? There's Rusty Wallace trying to wreck Dale Earnhardt, gets him down in the Darrell Wall trip. Rusty Wallace is going to have a lot of Christmas cards to give out with apologies come this Christmas. Watch as Dale Earnhardt gets forced below the track, just comes up, no brakes, hits Rusty Walls. Rusty did not like that. He's going to retaliate here hard and ends up costing his brother, Derek Cope, and Darrell Waltrup all good finishes. Controversy here in Bristol is Rusty once again. Trying to wreck Dale Earnhardt, that's a, that's a tough thing to do here, is try to wreck Dale Earnhardt does not really happen. So Dale Earnhardt's still in the mix. He's trying to sweep Bristol this season. He'll be fifth on this restart. We'll see what he moves he makes with this two-lap shootout under the lights here in Bristol. Green flag is in the air. Gordon and Martin, good clean start. Mark Martin's going to get to his back bumper, and he moves him. Mark Martin to the lead. Coming to the white flag, Jeff Gordon's going to look high. Martin's going to shut the door. Does Gordon move him here? No, Gordon chooses the high route. He's gonna get to his outside. Martin powers off the corner. Gordon gets him loose. Third, three, and four. The high side is gonna prevail. Jeff Gordon's gonna come off third, four, and win the Bristol Night Race. And he cuts Mark Martin's points lead down to 32 points. What a dominating performance by Jeff Gordon. He will not be denied tonight as he pulls off a high lane pass here. Not really seen that often here at Bristol, but Gordon has the talent and power to get it done. Martin just loose off the corner. Could not put the throttle down to have a drag race. Jeff Gordon is going to burn it down under the lights here in Bristol. Jeff Gordon, first burnouts this year. Chose not to do them earlier at Cullen Motor Speedway, but he does them tonight in Bristol. And Gordon narrows down the points deficit to 32. So real quick, I had a, I've got a new system for calculating points, and I found out I had a lot of human error this season. So if your point standings and your drivers messed up, it's because of me, but they're all fixed now. So Mark Martin has a 32-point lead over Jeff Gordon and a 117-point lead over Dale Sr. Dale Sr. is still mathematically in it to win the championship, but he has to have a lot happen along with Dale Jarrett and Jeremy Mayfield. Then there's Ernie Irvin. Uh, is 11th in the standings. 12th is Tony Stewart. 13th, Ward Bolton. 14th, Kenny Irwin Jr. And 15th is Jimmy Spencer with a good run tonight, by the way. Jimmy Spencer with a top-five finish. Uh, here's your 21st 
through 30th in the point standings. Hope everybody likes the new way I do points. It looks a lot more clean, very fresh. It's going to be exciting come season nine to have the points like this. So finishing results of Bristol. Jeff Gordon takes the win. Mark Martin, second. Uh, shout out to Kenny Schrader finishing third. And we talked about it earlier, Jimmy Spencer finishing fifth. Jeff Burton, one spot away from getting a top 10. Kyle Petty finishes 14th today. Notables, 25th is Ward Bolton. And 26th, Bobby Labani. 28th was Rusty Wallace. And it's a big crash fest tonight. Just kind of felt like doing one of those, you know? But thanks, everybody, for watching. This is the ACS Racing Network, JT24, J26, signing out.